Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Patricia. So I have a small little Sephora haul. So I'm going to go through it and show you guys what I got. So I know you guys are like, why did this girl got no lip on? I don't have a lip on because I got two um, lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury. And this will be my first Charlotte Tilbury purchase. And I wanted to share it with you guys. So part of what I got are two lip sets these are the pillow talk lip kits so i got one in one is like the original shade and then the other one is i believe it's like a deep shade so this is the first one and this one is the second one so it is the liner and the lipstick so let me grab my glasses so i can see which one is which because i intend to go in with the og first okay guys so this is the og shade so we're gonna go in with this one first i have heard nothing but good things about the charlotte tilbury um lippy so let me pull this out right quick now you guys know they come in the OG um, comes in like four different shades. So I just wanted to go in with the original shade. Okay, guys, so this is what it looks like. So this is the OG shade. And you know this comes in like four different variations. So this is the OG. I'm just gonna try this out. I just wanted to know what the OG was about before trying out any variation so here we go guys they've been looking kind of light y'all looking kind of light i don't know y'all mm. charlotte and i know most people that use the og shade are probably using a darker liner than this when it comes to us brown skinned girls i know this is not a perfect line i just wanted to kind of have an idea i'm not too much worried about the shade itself so this is what the shade looks like shade's pretty so let's see what this is going to look like against the brown skin it smells kind of good okay charlotte oh girl this I might have been able to get away with this with a darker liner or maybe not even a liner at all if I just would have kind of left my own lips to as the liner and then went in with this. This this can be worked out. Okay, I'm going to open up the next one and we're going to go in with that pencil and we're going to see I wish I had opened this off camera. We're going to see how it goes with the next darker shade, and that is this one. So let's just try that before we just get into some more unconventional things. Hmm, I think had I gone in with this probably first, it might would have worked. Um, let me try one more thing before we move on to the next kit. Okay, just for giggles, y'all, um, I'm going to use the Huda Beauty. This is, what color is this? It's called After Party. It is a very dark pink and it has some um, reflective properties in it i have used this as a lip liner on multiple occasions 
and it's Dawn Wonders. Okay, that is already starting to look better. I promise you it's going to come together. And then we are going to take the gloss. And I have a darker gloss in my purse. This isn't the one I usually gravitate toward. This is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. I have one that's more of a pink than I normally use, but since the lipstick is pink, we're going to try this just to give it a little sheen. I'm trying. Okay. Let's add some more Charlotte. We gonna make this work, y'all. We gonna make it work. I've heard too many good things about Charlotte. Okay, so this is giving us. Just a little bit more of what I was looking for and just go back in just a smidge with the Huda Beauty. This is by no means a perfect application. I'm just trying to give you guys a little bit, but you can see how that came together already. And that was just by working with what you got. So now we're going to start the process all over again. We are going to go in with the darker. Uh, we're going to go in with the darker shade and we'll see what's up. Okay, guys. So now we're going to go in with the darker liner. We're going to see what's up. And then we're going to go in with the lippy. This liner is not doing much for my skin. I have dark lips. I have a feeling I'm going to be doing the same thing that I did before. So let's see. Let's get this darker lippy from Charlotte. See what it's giving. Smells really good. Okay, so I do like this color a little a little bit better. Um for me I would still um appreciate a little bit more pow. That's just me. So, add a little gloss. I think I'm just going to, I'm just going to leave it, leave it like it is. But I would probably, in a perfect world, take a, uh, a darker lip liner and go. But this is cute, though. I do like this. I'm here for the darker Charlotte Tilbury shade. Okay. The more I look at it, the more I like it. What are your thoughts? Okay, so you see we have that. Um, I just wanted to do this in real time for all the brown girls like me that see Charlotte Tilbury, the, the, the iconic pillow talk shade, and you're like, okay, is that going to work for me? I just wanted to do this in real time to show you guys Yes, it can work, but you're going to have to doctor it up a little bit. So I also got 
I heard everybody raving about the Sephora collection, cotton, um, the little cotton pads. So I picked those up. Um, people were raving about Sephora collection, everything from the cotton pads to makeup brushes to lippies. I've had the lippies before. Like I really need to get into the Sephora collection more. Um, I also picked up, speaking of Sephora collection, the glowing cleansing wipes. And so I picked those up. Just a little small set. I already had some wipes, but people were going on and on about these wipes. So I was like, well, we got to give it a shot. And it was on sale. My ranking is, our tier is VIB. So I got 15% off. I'm almost at Rouge, guys. Almost at Rouge. So I picked up the dozy marin this is the uh, whipped argon oil body butter and it is in vanilla vibes i've heard nothing but amazing things about this you guys know i love me some vanilla so i was like i got to get it so this is what it looks like i just went ahead and got the big one because i was like everyone can't be wrong so you can never go wrong with the vanilla scent, right? Oh, it's so luxurious looking. Look at that. Just very. Oh, this is good. Mm. It's a beautiful, creamy. It almost smells like a um, bakery item or like you're, you're making a cake or something. The consistency is very very light whipped consistency oh that's good it got a little sweeter on my hand i guess because i'm so sweet yeah this smells very different on the body as opposed to in the jar in the jar it was giving me more kind of cake batter but then on the skin it's sweetened up a little bit. This is good. It's going to be something that's not going to clash with your perfumes. And God, look at the moisturization. Look at the difference. Stop. This is going to be a fall and winter staple. I see now why so many people were talking about this. Absolutely excellent. Can't stop smelling my hand, y'all. Put my rings back on. Okay, and the last thing I picked up, I told you it was a small haul. It's small but mighty, guys. The last thing I picked up is a set. This is the Kiehl's. Now, this is the fan favorite set. I have never tried Kiehl's. I'm really trying to um, step my skincare game up. You know, I've got a few wrinkles, you know, around the eye area, so I'm really concerned about that. And just in general, just you're never too... Um, young to start taking care of your skin, but especially if you're, you know, you have maturing skin, then it is up of the utmost importance. So I decided to pick this up. I do have some more skincare coming to the house, but I saw this and I was like, so many people have talked about Kiehl's. Let me give it a shot. So I'm going to use this exclusively while I wait for my next skincare items to arrive. So inside of the pack and they had it packaged very well so we've got the ultra facial cleanser with squalene avocado oil and glycerin removes impurities without over drying or stripping the skin of essential moisture you can never have too many great um cleansers we also have the this is the reduced wrinkles Retinol Skin Renewing Daily Micro Dose Serum. So that's step two. It says um, reduce wrinkles. With pure retinol, peptide, and ceramides, helps to improve the look of wrinkles, firm skin, evens tone, and smooths texture with minimal discomfort. I will be the judge of that. Next, we have, this is the Ultra Facial Cream. I've heard amazing things about this. 
It says hydrate and strengthen. It has squalene and glacial glycoprotein, provides 24 hour moisture hydration. Um, it helps strengthen the skin's moisture barrier and smooths the appearance of the appearance of skin. Do I want to look like I ain't got no skin? I swear to God, that's what it said. I, I, I can read. That is what it said. Oh, smooths your skin. It makes your, your skin smooth. <sighs> this is an after work video, y'all. Brain just gone to mush. And last we have the... This is the creamy eye treatment with avocado. I've heard amazing things about this. This was originally what I wanted to pick up. And then I saw this kit and was like, well, why not just try out some more things? So this is, it says hydrate and depuff eyes. And it has beta carotene and shea butter visibly brightens, smooths, and depuffs the appearance of the under eye area. Now, this is a full size product. So to me, it was worth getting the kit just for a full size eye cream. Like, do you know how expensive eye creams are? So if you guys have tried anything that you've seen in the video, comment below and give me your thoughts on it. I'm really super excited to try out this set because like I said, I've heard amazing things. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. And let me know what you picked up from the Sephora sale or what is still on your checklist.